leadership development. Today we'll be talking about some intermediate nunchucker work. Now one of the things I would like for you to think about is different ways that we can move around our body by using the nunchuck, by spinning it around, ways without hurting ourselves. Now if we take our shoulders and our hips as four points, and then we begin on our right shoulder, one of the things that we can do is we can go down to our right hip, across to our left hip, place it on top of our left shoulder, bring it back across and making sure that it strikes downwards towards our back rather than to the back of our head. And we just made a square or a box. So again, we go down, across, up, and back across. Now we can reverse this going back across to our shoulder to shoulder, down to the left hip, back to the right side, and back up. We can again do that, uh, making, uh, making this complete circle in, uh, square in one direction and in the opposite direction. Now we can also start this on the hip and begin, uh, begin from the right hip and up or across depending on which pattern that we want to do. And we can begin from the hip and end at the hip for exercise, uh, for the various exercises. We can also do it from the left hip as well as the left shoulder. So please keep in mind a lot of these drills can be done many different, uh, several different ways so that we have more than just a few combinations, we have several combinations. Now, if we open up one side, then we have, instead of a closed position, uh, a closed uh, type of combination here, we start to open it up. This one I call the cup because it's going to be open on the top. We strike down, across, back up to the left, and then we come back down and stop at the, uh, our point of origin. And we never went across, so it is almost like a cup. If we have it with an open wall, then we have across, down, across, back, up, and back across. Now, if we open up the other side or if we open up the bottom, then our combinations are again different. Now, those would all be kind of a boxed set. They're all based on a square, and then one side is left open. Now, the next size, uh, side, what we're going to do is we're going to do an, a triangle. Now, we had done before, we've done spank, spank, hang up the coat, where we have this shoulder to hip, hip uh, happening. So we're omitting one shoulder at this point in time. If we change that and start on this shoulder or on this hip or this hip, by making sure that we eliminate the use of this shoulder, then what happens is we can go ahead and get a different combination in there as well. Or we can end up starting from a different place and gaining familiarity with it that, is what, that way as well. Now we can go ahead and take out one hip or the other. Let's go ahead and take out this hip. So we go from shoulder to shoulder, hip, shoulder, shoulder, hip, shoulder, shoulder, hip, for a timing of three. Now let's go ahead and omit our right, right hip. So we down, up, across, down, up, across, or reverse those directions, or start from the hip first, and again, watch out, make sure you're not hitting yourself. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make a diamond, uh, I'm sorry, a figure eight basically, kind of like a bow tie or an hourglass. Now if we've got, the de uh, if we've got this uh, bow tie kind of shape here where it goes up in the middle, up in the middle diagonal, then what happens is it's like a bow tie. If we have it diagonal down, uh, in the middle here in this direction and cut across, up, across, down, and it's like an hourglass. Let's go ahead and go with the bow tie first. So we're going to go reach down across to our opposite hip, raise it up to our shoulder, bring it down to our opposite hip and up. So we have vertical walls on the side here. So again, down, vertical wall, down, vertical wall, down, vertical wall, down, vertical wall. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have two horizontal walls. We'll have a high wall and a low wall. We'll start diagonally down down, across, angle up, and back. Down, across, angle up, and back. This one we use, uh, the, we use this uh, diamond shape, this, uh, I'm sorry, a, uh, an hourglass shape in our nunchaku form, so please be aware of that. Now, uh, as far as other shapes go, we have other open, uh, open shapes. We have an N, so if you think of like the letter N from your perspective is down, and down at an angle, and up. You would start from this hip, up, down at an angle, up, back down. For me, that's just the opposite, so now I'll go ahead and do an N. Up. Oh, sorry. And then we have a Z, starting from over here, my perspective, a Z, and then chase it back up. So reverse your last motion, reverse it, and then chase it back to its origin. From your perspective, a Z would be a cross angle Very good. Now wait, there's one last one. It's another triangle. Now I saved this one for last because this is the only one that doesn't have a real 
an offset number to it. You put your right foot in front. What you can do is from here on your shoulder, this is two parts. We have one that goes from shoulder to shoulder. Right now, we're going to go from shoulder to inside of the thigh, back up to the opposite shoulder, back down to the inside and up. So all we're doing is a V. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now, I'm not coming in and trying to hit the groin or straight up into the coccyx in the back. I'm trying to hit onto the inside of this thigh, allowing the muscle to rebound the nunchuck back and then get the action back up to the next uh, shoulder. Now, the next thing we're going to do is put us, uh, go straight across one way or the other. We're going to go down inside, across, across the eyes. Down inside, across, and across to the eyes. Go back the other way. One, two, three. One, two, three. Reverse that. One, two, three. One, two, three. By, expand, by working with all of these different combinations, you expand your understanding of the tool itself and how you can use it effectively. Having a wide variety of combinations that we can use or circuits that we can chase around our body without causing injury makes us that much more efficient and proficient. And as we gain uh, more confidence with the tool, then we'll have more confidence when we demonstrate our skill. Please practice these often and practice them as many different ways as you can. If you find any combinations that we have not listed here, please feel free to let us know what they are. We'll be happy to add them to the complete list to make sure that we have a complete package of understanding. Thank you very much for joining Warrior Ways Martial Arts and Leadership Development.